me know Cause I know you got your phone in your hand all day All the time all Third video Ah 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 Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Every time I say channel, I'm so extra. Let me try that again. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be doing a competition between the Real Techniques blender and a new blender that I came across online called the Velvet. It's called the Micro Fiber Velvet Sponge, and this is what it comes in. It's in it's Juno and Co. I guess that's the company. Um, I would have the link down below so that if you guys want to try it out or see it for yourself or buy it for yourself, um, you guys are able to do so. But other than that, um, I hope you guys are having a great day today. It's in North Carolina right now. It's currently sunny, cloudy. I mean, it's like 4 or 5. So the sun's about to go down. 418. So I hope you guys enjoy this video as always. And let's get right into it. Okay, so we are going to jump right into it. Hold up, my lips is chapped and that's not it. By the way, guys, I did my eyebrows off of camera because I just, I wanted to, to speed up this video. Since my last videos were so long, I was like, let me not do another long video. Before actually getting into it, I went to the actual website. This is the website, it's um, June & Co, that's the company that made it. And I wanted to see the claims that they had so that I can know what I'm working with. I just wanted really to see how to use because I don't want to use it away and then it says it a different way online. So it says when you want to use it wet, which is how I'm going to use it, it says wet it, squeeze it, stipple it, perfect for liquid foundations, concealers, and contouring. Which is perfect because my foundation is liquid and that sounds easy enough. So let's go wet it. And I'll be right back. Alright, so I wet both of them. And this is what the Juno one looks like. The velvet one. And I also wet the Real Techniques one. And this is what this one looks like. So in comparison in size, this one's like wider. This one's um longer. But it kind of like came out to be the same. Okay, so this is what I'm planning to do. I'm going to split my face in half. And I'm going to use, on the right side, I'm going to use the Real Technique sponge, which is this one. And on the left side of my face, I'm going to use the Juno sponge, the Velvet sponge. So I'm just going to apply the Cover FX primer real quick. I'm going to use the same base because I don't want it to be like, I'm using a different base and maybe it won't, my makeup won't turn out the same. So I'm using this and I already put my moisturizer on, um, which is regular pond cream so I'm just gonna put this on real quick off of camera and I'll be right back when done ah, I already applied the primer on uh, now I'm just gonna go in like I regularly do and I'm gonna put the liquid foundation that I use you guys already know if you see my first video and if you haven't what are you doing um I'm gonna do 332 and 335 mixed together and yeah me passe nah. I wish these had a pump. It would be so much easier because this happens to me literally all the time. And then it goes all over my clothes. And then I gotta change. And then this one takes forever. <laughs> okay. And I'm just gonna dot this all over my face like I regularly would. I've really been into like wearing less foundation. This might be a lot for you guys, but for me, it's actually not that much. All right, like I said, the right side of my face would be used with the Real Techniques blender. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blend away. All right, so this is how one side looks with the Real Techniques. Um, this is what I expected because I just always use this blender. It looks fine. It looks smooth. Except for my acne marks. Let's not talk about that. This looks fine. Now let's go in with the velvet one. I don't know how this is going to work because it's such a weird, like it's velvet. What? Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go in with the bottom half and blend. Alright, so um, this is what it looks all blended out with this sponge on this side of my face. And so far, to be honest, um, it's not the worst, but for some reason, 
it doesn't look as good as this side i really do feel like this side looks better this side looks more like clean and smooth rather than this side it might not be picking up on camera like that but yeah and looking at my nose like this side like i tend to crease a lot on my nose here like really fast but this side looks already way more creased than this side And it's like, I see so much influencers use it, like Naked Tutorial, she was the one that really made it pop and I watch her all the time. But, yeah. So far, it's alright. I'm not really feeling it. It's just, it's whatever, like, I don't think it's necessary. If you have the Real Techniques Beauty Blender, then I don't think you need this. But I'm gonna apply concealer next and do the same thing I did as with my foundation. Same thing as always, going in with my cool tan and then going in with medium beige afterwards. Where did I put my mirror? Right here in front of my face. But you know, I'm just blind so I can't really see anything. Mm. Putting this under my eyes as I regularly would. Just I'm, a, I'm concealing if I was doing a normal. I'm gonna leave the middle of the nose since this is more review on the velvet sponge one I'm gonna do the velvet sponge one down my nose and the same thing I did here we're gonna do here so this is what it looks like and she's high <laughs> I did my concealer as well I'm starting to think that, I don't know, I just keep looking at it. I still think that this side looks way better for some reason. What do you guys think in the comments below? Let me know what do y'all think. I think that, I don't know why, I feel like it's cause like the texture of the beauty blender that makes it seem like weird. What? Okay. I almost didn't blend out my nose. I would have been looking crazy this whole video. Now that everything is blended out and I kind of basically have my base done, let me... It's not the worst, but it's not the best. Guess what, guys? My camera shut off, and I don't know where I left in the last clip that you guys just seen, but I was basically just talking about the product, but I'm just leave that for my final review. So I'm just going to do the rest of my face off of camera, and I'll be right back when my face is done. Oh, 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 All right, 45 minutes later, I'm done with my face. And my final thoughts on um, the Real Techniques versus the, the Velvet one, I would say that... I'm just like looking at my... I would say that, to be honest, they look kind of like the same. But I don't think it's necessary to have. They're both about the same price. So if anything, I would recommend for you guys to get Real Techniques um, Blender because it's the same price. I honestly think this looks better. It'll be like, it's very minimal, the difference. But I can see the difference like this side to me. I feel like this side just looks better for some reason. I really don't know why. It's not something I can grasp on like into words and say. But... Yeah, so if you don't have it, it's not something you need to buy necessarily. That is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, of course, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Like, literally all you gotta do is click subscribe and you're subscribed. And I'm like the happiest person ever. So like, comment, share, subscribe. You guys already know the deal. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which side you guys think did looks better. Not did better, but looks better in the comments down below. The right side with the Real Techniques or the left side with the Velvet Beauty Blender sponge. And that's all I have to say for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed as always. Till next time, see you in my next video. Bye, guys. That's not it. Oh. Ow! I want to be the same when I get what? <laughs> when I got what? Focus, focus, focus. Hey, blue beauty blender? No. Uh, blender. Or not. Oh!
tea. That's the real tea, guys. That is the real tea. Nah, that ain't it. Let me stop.